if your child has ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, you should consider brainwave biofeedback, or also known as neurofeedback. This little presentation was put together by Dr. Richard Sherman and Dr. Cynthia Kirsten. The presentation is provided by the Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback, or AAPB, the premier professional organization supporting biofeedback-based interventions. You can find more at www.biofeedback.org. Biofeedback is a learning process in which people are shown real-time recordings of physiological systems, such as muscle tension or brain waves, which are the patterns of the brain's electrical activity. People are taught to recognize and then correct levels and patterns of the signals which underlie the problem being treated. When brain waves are fed back, the process is called neurofeedback. The picture on the left shows a child having her brain waves recorded from sensors that are pasted onto her scalp. She's watching a display which changes as her brain waves change. She's learning to control her brain waves by changing the display. The picture on the right is another display which changes as the brain waves change. Biofeedback is not magic. Well-known physiological signals such as brain waves, blood flow, muscle tension, and respiration are recorded using standard, safe, painless physiological monitoring devices. Numerous studies have proven that specific patterns and levels of several brain waves are related to the symptoms of ADHD. The output from these devices is sent to a computer monitor in real time so your child can see them and encourage them to change. During the training sessions, the coach or the therapist will watch the signals and help your child learn to make the changes needed to eliminate or reduce the symptoms of ADHD. This is an entirely safe, painless process with no significant or lasting side effects. No signals go from the device back into your child. Recording brain waves. Brains make bioelectricity. Each part produces different patterns of electrical waves at different frequencies and intensities. The measurement of this is the EEG, or electroencephalogram. We can record the patterns of electricity, the EEG, from sensors pasted to the skin over the part of the brain we're interested in training. This is a painless and safe process. Here are some illustrations of typical brain waves. The very top one is beta. The next one down is what's known as alpha, which is a slower wave than the beta wave. The mixed alpha, which might have some alpha and some beta and maybe some theta, and below that, theta. All parts of the brain produce different waves, so the waves you see depend on from where you are recording. The photo on the left shows a child looking at a display of the actual brain waves she's producing. It's very unlikely that anybody could keep track of the changes in so many rapid wiggly lines. So the computer uses the information from the actual brain waves to generate a picture, such as the one uh, shown on the right. This picture changes with changes in her brain waves. All the child needs to do is learn to keep the display working by controlling her brain waves. The neurofeedback treatment is aimed at correcting the problems resulting in ADHD's primary symptoms. Children who have ADHD with concentration problems do not show normal amounts of certain brain waves in relevant parts of their brains. They often produce too much theta and too little beta. This combination usually results in less ability to concentrate. When a child is inattentive, there is a higher proportion of the slow theta waves, especially in the frontal, the executive function area, and sensory motor, sensory intake and motor response areas of the brain. However, sometimes they produce too much beta, which is common in hyperactive children. The pattern is determined during the initial evaluation so the correct feedback can be provided. These patterns can be trained away and replaced with the appropriate wave pattern for the area trained. This will result in more focused concentration and or a more relaxed and settled presence depending upon the area being trained. Hyperactive children are taught to alter the pattern of brainwave rhythms from the sensory motor strip to decrease their activity levels toward normal. Inattentive children are taught to decrease the amount of theta waves while increasing beta waves 
to increase attention span and increase their abilities to learn. The amount of change in behavior is proportional to how well children learn to bring their brain waves toward normal. The training is safe and easy, with most training requiring about 30 hour-long sessions. Numerous studies have demonstrated that the intervention is effective and can last for years. Children can learn to control and even eliminate the symptoms of ADHD by learning to control how their brains are working through neurofeedback. Symptoms that change with successful control include decreased activity levels, improvement in attentiveness and impulse control as measured using standard cognitive testing, increased academic performance, increased intelligence scores, probably due to better test taking, as measured by the Wisconsin Intelligence Scale Disorders Evaluation Scale. Note that symptoms do not change if learning does not occur. The above results are from relatively large controlled studies. One multi-center study had 1,086 subjects. Biofeedback for reduction or elimination of ADHD symptoms is not experimental. While dozens of therapies claim to be effective in controlling ADHD, few have any actual evidence from solid, well-accepted studies substantiating their claims. Other treatments such as stimulant medications have very significant side effects which can devastate a child, and the effect only lasts as long as you take the medication. Neurofeedback has been proven to be highly effective in reducing symptoms of ADHD without lasting side effects. High quality studies with reasonably large groups have led to increasing acceptance of the therapy by the medical community. For details of the research supporting the effectiveness of neurofeedback for ADHD, go to www.biofeedback.org. Want to find a local clinician trained in biofeedback? Licensed clinicians are trained and certified in providing biofeedback-based interventions by the Biofeedback Certification International Alliance. You can locate local licensed clinicians with proper training to perform biofeedback augmented interventions by going to www.biofeedback.org. If you want to know more about biofeedback, again, go to www.biofeedback.org. For lots more detailed videos on biofeedback, for lots of details on efficacy and research, to find out about many more disorders biofeedback works for, and to find a local biofeedback provider. Thank you for listening, and once more, if you want further information, please go to www.biofeedback.org.